originally a worker of bronze, brass and gold, Tubal Cain became the archetypical blacksmith along the lines of the British Wayland, the Roman Vulcan or the Greek Hephaestus. The coal black god is often equated with the horned master of Saxon British witchcraft. Lilith According to rabbinical law, Lilith was Adam's first wife, kicked out of the Garden of Eden when Adam complained to God that she wanted to be on top. Adam's loss is my personal opinion, but according to the rabbis, God punished Lilith to spend eternity giving birth to a thousand babies every night, half of whom would die before dawn. Thus, in Christian and Jewish law, she became the mother of demons and an incubus herself, preying on men for their nocturnal omissions. In a religion where wet dreams are a sin, it's nice to have a demoness to blame for those suspicious stains. Interestingly, the modern feminist movement has embraced Lilith as an archetype of the strong, independent woman, which has given rise to the Lilith Fair. She also appears as an archetype in Jungian psychology, in a similar vein, and even women in some varieties of Judaism have embraced her as their champion. In Sumerian lore, she is described as the gladdener of all hearts, and is said to live in the middle of the world tree with the Zuzu bird nesting in the branches above and the dragon nesting in the roots below. She is described as the maiden who has stolen the light, but another version of the same text uses the phrase the maiden who has seized the light and identifies her with the moon. Translations of Sumerian texts call her the maiden or demon, largely based on when the translation was made. Neo-pagans have embraced Lilith in much the same way and form as the feminist movement, but for grizzled old crafters she is worked with as a form of the Dark Mother or Black Goddess. She is often seen as the consort of Samael, originally depicted as an androgynous conjoined pair that were the complement and opposite of Adam and Eve. Which law that embraces Lilith makes much of her identity as the mother of Cain, seeing in him the semi-divine hero much like Hercules, and the mark of Cain is considered to be the witch mark by which we identify each other. Commonly depicted as the circle cross, the actual mark's form is naturally an oath-bound matter. But it is safe to say that while it can be physically represented on the body of the witch, the real mark is imprinted on their spirit and can be detected in their aura. Samael Aside from being Lilith's consort, Samael is often a primary figure in the law of witchcraft, traditions that use connections, sorry, that use law connected with biblical sources. Described as an archangel who has the task of being the accuser, he is said to be the original version of Satan in Abrahamic law, though in craft law he is often quite a different figure. He originates textually in the Babylonian Book of Giants. He is often depicted as a great serpent or dragon, and can be paired in some traditions with Azazel as his rider. He is considered to be a leader of the Watchers, the Anunnaki of Sumerian law, and some scholars equate Samael and Azazel to Enlil and Enki, the twin gods of the Akkadians, whose tale has similarities to that of Horus and Set in Egypt. Samael and the Watchers are said to be responsible for the creation of the fairy races, elves, dwarves, gnomes, and the fair folk themselves. The Anunnaki. They were, these were a group of Sumerian or Akkadian deities frequently equated to the Watchers or Fallen Angels. Depending on how it is written, the name Anunnaki means of royal blood, princely offspring, or heaven and earth. They are the children of Anu and Ki, and were led by the twins Enlil, Lord of the Wind or Air, and Enki, Lord of Earth, who disputed each other's right to lead. Enki created humanity to be servants who would do the tasks the gods would not lower themselves to do for themselves. But Enlil believed that humans deserved a better fate than that, and caused Adam, the first man, to mate with Lilith, Enki's daughter, to introduce the divine bloodline into humanity. This eventually became what is considered the witch blood, also the bloodlines of the Frankish dragon kings, a dynasty of sacred kings that were replaced by the Catholic Church using the forged document of authority they said was given to them by Constantine, himself of that sacred line. Needless to say, the concept of witch blood is very important to traditions that embrace these myths, and this can be an additional bone of contention for those that do not. Some traditions hold to the idea that only some humans carry the witch blood, but the more pragmatic realize that with the number of generations that have existed on Earth, pretty much everyone would have some of the witch blood in their makeup by now. So they instead focus on the concept of awakening, 
We all have witch blood within us, but in order for us to become witches, that blood must be awakened, after which progress is not so much a matter of learning, but remembering by tapping into ancestral memories. So the answer to that question about why crafters would use biblical material when they can access purer sources is simple. They do access purer sources, but that does not magically make the biblical references disappear. After hundreds of years, the law brought back by the Crusaders and practiced by their families, and then rescued, resuscitated, or reconstructed by modern crafters, is part of the British witchcraft body of law. Nobody says that all crafters have to sign up and swallow it whole, but for those who do include it in their traditions, it is an honorable part of their heritage, practiced and studied in the context of its original occurrence, without any of the dogma or stigma attached to its biblical counterpart. Someone said that perhaps the biblical stuff was retained as a blind, to make them look more acceptable to the mainstream if discovered. But I think it is a double blind, because that biblical law has a pure pedigree, and it is the law of the witch father, Old Horny, the Horned Master, hidden in plain sight.